And welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now let's head down to the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Number two, South Alabama two will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made at the 38. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Nice run up the middle. That makes it seven and six. Got a man. Watch out here. Drop down at the 40-yard line. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He flings it. Incomplete. Almost picked off. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. And he's taken down at the 40. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Around the 27-yard line. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. Tackled after decent pickup. From the 21-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Gets rid of it quickly. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Wide open, incomplete. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Eastern Michigan could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. Gomez has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's hit and got away. He's tackled at the 25. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. So give the defense all the credit here. Dad, that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. He 
He's in trouble. Throws and it's incomplete. That's a real danger. If he leaves too many passes short like that, sooner or later they're going to end up in the wrong set of hands. There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. The secondary decided to drop back into coverage here, and there was nobody open for the quarterback to deliver the ball to. Good job by the D. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. Eastern Michigan is up a field goal. And they make the stop at the 41-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. On play action, defense coming. He unloads it. Off his hands, incomplete. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. Six-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Let's it fly. Almost picked off. There's a flag down, and this most likely is going to be on the defense. Offense. You know, as a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defensive coaches try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. Eastern Michigan has a three-point lead. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Zips it to the back. He's taken down right around the 24-yard line. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. That makes it second and six. Gain as he works the right side. They come out in an empty backfield. And they get nice yardage on that run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. in a hurry interception big opening to the 20 the 10 touchdown eastern michigan so a great play by the defender to give his team six points that was a very good play and that will certainly help build his team's momentum Gomez has 
the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. And he shoved out of bounds at the 34-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He fights forward to about the 36. Gets it out in a hurry. Caught to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Jaguar. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. That receiver was so wide open. As a quarterback, you just don't want to blow. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you, and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. He makes the PAT. South Alabama is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Eastern Michigan holds a field goal lead. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle made at the 36. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 36. Throws it. Brought down around the 44-yard line. Scrambling, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. tight end again and he tackles him hard at the 31 a nice looking play that time well the defense was blitzing here and again great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver it's first and ten all on the 31 yard line Here's a quick throw. And he stays in bounds to make the catch. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Eastern Michigan is up by three. Touchdown, Eagles! Great play by the halfback there to find his way into the end zone. Again, the offense goes with the option. The defender can... He'll 
He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 27-yard line. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 31. Makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Here's an opening. Makes it out to about the 49. From their own 49-yard line. First down. Laterals back, and he's got space. He's at the 30. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 18-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. So it's first and 10 after the big run. He fights forward to about the 16. The 10. Nice play to set up first and goal. It's first and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. That's a great tackle at the seven. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there, and down he went. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he's taken down right around the 10-yard line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. It's third down, and they come up to the line about nine yards away from the end zone. Tackle right around the six-yard line. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Brooks looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Eastern Michigan is up seven. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Mike 
Looks left. Intercepted. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. There, terrific play. Will be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. The 30. Tackle made at the 36 yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Goes to the fullback and drops. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. On the throw, incomplete pass. series by the defense. The defense is going to head to the sideline with a real sense of accomplishment, knowing that they've just shut this offense down. Lacey, back deep to return. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's tackled at the 24. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Grabs it and hammered right there. From their own 27-yard line, second down. run there. Bradley gains around six yards on the option play right there. Quick shot. The defender tips it away. Brooks is waiting for the snap. He dropped it. And down he goes at the 28. I'll tell you, few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. You got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. Well, at least for now, the crisis was averted and they keep control of the ball. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's tackled at about the 41. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. need about four. And he's going to be 
three sacks. Man, if an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. Lacey is back awaiting the punt. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Makes it out to about the 40. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it 76. down and he's out of bounds so the completion goes for about eight yards and a first down it's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen the line controlled the rush and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw it was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first gains his way to the 40 yard line that makes it second and two so it's second down and about two yards to go Gets out to about the 38-yard line. Two yards. That makes it first and ten. Man left, man left. Pull it down, pull it down. Aiden's getting the ball here. Aiden's getting the ball. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Number 29. From the 38-yard line. Second down. Bring him down right around the 28 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 23. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Here's play number 10 on the drive, five wide. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Kill, kill, kill! And he's going to be sacked for a loss. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. South Alabama could take the lead with this field goal. Kick is up, it's got the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. The return team looks ready to go. They need to take this one all the way in order to lead at the half. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. 
brought down at the 30-yard line. We've still got a half of football remaining. South Alabama's got a three-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Exciting first half there. It seemed like every time you turned around, there was another big play. Both of these offenses coming up with yards and chunks, and it's really paid off for them in the first half. Yeah, and uh, it's one thing for offenses to execute and, and get little plays here and there and continue drives, but it's really nice when you hit home runs. It's really nice to make it simple and say, all right, we're going to get about 50 right here. We're going to get about 30 right here. You know, the offense came simple. Uh, you know, great job playmakers making plays, breaking tackles, you know, spinning off players, making big making big gains. You know, listen, it makes offense very simple. There's no secret to it. If you got all explosive offenses that can do this, that can get big chunk plays, they're going to score a lot of points every single game. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese Davis, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. South Alabama is up a field goal. Right around the 22-yard line. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 22. Pass is tipped away. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. and it's fourth down. Brooks to punt. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 44. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Up the middle for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. to get the first here on second down. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. And a quick throw. Right down at about the 29-yard line. First and 10. Ball of the 29. Nice run up the middle. 
Nice at 76. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. He's under pressure, and he's level at the 27-yard line. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Eastern Michigan can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks away, and he nails the long field goal. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want to know. Third down. Down. Zips it to the back. He's to the 40. And he's taken down at the 49. From the 49-yard line, first down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. down and they need to get it down to the 39. First and ten. Ball on the 30. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And they make the stop right around the 20. That's a game of 10 on the That brings up second and one. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They come out on an empty backfield. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. First and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. He gets rid of this one. This is the tenth play of this drive.
Touchdown, South Alabama. Well, a quarterback just showed us he can beat you with his feet as well as his arm. And what a dangerous weapon this guy is. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 10-play, 78-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 27-20, and he's tackled at the 25. Wow, close game here, and up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays, and you're right, you almost feel as as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That'll be a loss of one. Really? They just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Back with a carry. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Quick strike and he drops it. And they're coming after this punter. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Lacey takes it at the 33, and down he goes at the 48. The Eagles have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. From the 36-yard line, first down, South Alabama is up by a touchdown. Now he tries to buy some time. They bring the quarterback down. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Call it a game of seven yards. That brings up third and ten. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Go, D. Let's go. They come out in a five-wide set. Go ahead, two, go. Catches it, and that's all. Nice game, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. It's up, looks long enough, and he got it! And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Strike to his receiver, no good. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Goes out to the fullback, and they knock it loose, incomplete. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw, incomplete, one of those receiver. Brad, you imagine being the offensive coordinator right now? Your quarterback is out of sync. He's not making the throws. Now you're facing a pivotal fourth down, and you've got a quarterback in an offense that's struggling. What are you going to do? Lacey takes it at the 33. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. He makes it out to midfield. That brings up second and nine. From midfield, it's second down. He's at the 30 to the 20. They'll bring him down right around the 14-yard line. That's three down and one to go. South Alabama's got a 10-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Slings it. Tackle at the two. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown, Jaguars. Perfect call under these circumstances, confusing them with the option and then getting the football into the hands of the running back. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. From his own goal line. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The Jaguars have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it set up their offense to be able to score a point. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. And he's tackled right away. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Mike Moore, Mike Moore. Caught and he's hit immediately. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll make it third and one. Watch the throw, watch the throw, watch the throw. Mike Moore. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. run to the left there so he picked up a few on that run yeah he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run really a nice read throws and that one's gonna hit the ground incomplete number 84 
was the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And they push him out around the 38 yard line. Throws in a hurry. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. He steps out at the 40-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 38-yard line, second down. He's tackled at the 41 yard line. Call the loss of three yards as a way. That makes it third and 11. About the 35. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And he's taken down at the 24. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. That was a loss of two yards. That will bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 22. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Lacey is back to receive. Gets to about the 41 yard line. The offense ready to go again, and their last drive ended with three points. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From their own 41 yard line, second down. Throws a bullet. It's picked off. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. Ready! 
And he throws right away. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Fantastic individual effort right there. It looked like there was some space for the pass, but the defender got enough of a hand on it to prevent the touchdown. He fights forward to about the 20. From the 20 yard line, third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick pass, tackle made at the 12-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. From the 11-yard line, it's first down. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw, picked off. It's a great job in coverage by this linebacker. He does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes and is able to come up with the interception. First and 10. Ball on the 15. And they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. First down. Less than three minutes in the game. Red two. Red seven, red two. They bring him down in the backfield. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on their own 23. Gets out to about the 25-yard line. tight end but it falls to the ground kind of hard to tell what happened there maybe he hurried it or he didn't have a good grip on the ball whatever the case no chance for the tight end to make the catch Brooks is the punter and he makes it out to about the 47 yard line I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Got it and brought down immediately. And they get five yards from that completion. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. We have less than a minute to go. Gets rid of this one. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Fires 
quickly to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. Eastern Michigan will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Spikes the ball. They'll line it up again on third down. Hey, watch that. Hey, watch the, ball. the quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Dumps it out left to the running back. Tackle around the 28-yard line. throw it in a hurry he fires this one he's hit and taken down they're in the red zone but that doesn't necessarily mean points last time they got intercepted it's the ninth play of the drive that brings up second and goal Quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. They decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. Just a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. So a nine-play, 54-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. Tackle made at the 41. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Eastern Michigan's called their final timeout. Takes a knee. In a game that had to be a defensive coordinator's worst nightmare. It's over. South Alabama 40, Eastern Michigan 27. So that wraps things up for us. Free A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.